Hello all my Taurus friends, welcome to your April 1st through 15th reading for 2020. Many blessings to you all. This is your collective reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. Let's make way and get our reading going. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone, all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome your beautiful, blessed reading. Thank you for this reading. Thank you for your energy. Oh, nice. You're going to start off with your Taurus energy. Four of Pentacles, very grounded and secure. Then we have the Page of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Relationship, love life, and spiritual life. We have the Five of Rods, the Ace of Rods, and the Hierophant, Taurus Major Arcana. We have the Two of Wands, the Pisces Major Arcana, the Moon, and the Four of Swords. In the underlier, we have the Four of Cups. So you've got fours here, so April looks like it's going to be, you've got one, two, three fours just in the first set of cards. So that's, that's a strong message for April for you, Taurus. That's going to be a very solid month for you. The Four of Cups is talking about having uh, something offered to you that may not quite match what you think it should be. And that's okay. It just means don't turn it away. Don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, in the onset, it may not look like what you think it should, or you just are curious. You want to see what it is. Sometimes we can't see it before uh, we accept it. You have to accept it, and then you get to see the full thing. Remember, the cups that are here on the ground do not measure to this cup. This is the Holy Grail being offered by the helping hand of the universe. Therefore, it is what you need, whether you, at the onset, at first blush, it may not look like what you think it should. Remember, it doesn't always come in the wrapper we, we think. And underneath it, you have the hanged man, which gives you the energy of saying, look at the bigger picture. Don't, don't come to a snap judgment. So here we have the four of pentacles, which is twofold uh, for you. First of all, the grounded energy of the four. Everything is more stable when it's in a four. It's a very secure energy. It means foundationally, fundamentally being safe and, and financially being secure. It also means money in the bank. So this will go right with that Four of Cups. The offer probably pertains to something to do with your finances and or a job. Most likely a lot of you are going to get a call for work. This is the Page of Wands, which means or it's a call to action, and it you may be a job calling because you've also got this Ace of Rods and the Hierophant here. So I have to say that really strong message for somebody who's looking for a job right now. You, you have a good shot in April of moving forward, the first part of April. We have the King of Swords here, which is the Archangel Michael. It's also the energy of being very... Um, strong in your knowledge and your ability to interview very well and and letting people see um, that you are indeed a strong contender for the position then you have the page of cups is where you you're in that place of uh, holding it in your heart and not really saying anything to anybody until it all comes out because you don't want to you don't want to count your chickens before they're hatched now we have you know my guides just gave me a message as I picked the cards up. They said, for a lot of you, it is going back to work. Okay, so that's a good thing. Somewhere in that you're going to get the word. Now, you may not actually do, this is why there's a wait. You may not actually go to work, but you get the, the call to, from your work saying when they expect to start back and when, when things are going to start moving again. So, for some of you, it's a job. For others of you, it's the, the call back to work. So... The Five of Wands is here. Usually this is relationship, love life, and spiritual life, but right now this is totally Taurus. This is all about work here. 
So we've got the Five of Wands, which is the struggle, okay, getting through this last part of the struggle. The Ace of Wands, which is now you're excited, it's, it's, things are moving, this is uh, a new job or a new passion or a new project. So being able to actually restart uh, your, your current work or getting a new job, a new position. Then we have the Hierophant, which in, that means action as well. The Hierophant is the Taurus Major Arcana, but it also means being called to action. A lot of people, it also means uh, hospital, university. You know, some of you may be, called, be, be able to start school or start something to do with starting that. You're getting a time period. You're getting that moment of the, the message coming in. They're saying, come on in. Come back and join us. Be part of our group. It's a welcoming energy. It also means governmental agencies as well, so that's all good. Now we have the Two of Wands, and this is how to proceed. Usually this means there's two opportunities or an option that you can choose. You can, you can move forward in a number of ways, and this means kind of taking the long look at it. Remember we talked about that hanged man position? This is letting yourself, before you get to the time of choosing, looking down the road in the long view and seeing what your options are going to be and, and kind of looking over that. Now, understand, just because you have two rods doesn't mean that one of them is wrong. It means you have a choice. Life is all about choices. Then we have the moon card. The moon card is something coming to light. Now, this is a very spiritual card. It's also the Pisces Major Arcana, but it also means the manifestation. This is the embryo energy, getting your, your chakra energy lined up and open, the spiritual light coming in, and that's when this clockwork starts to move. When you get that going, this manifestation starts to reveal itself or come, come to fruition for you. And then we have the Four of Swords, which is... Listen, when we're all in this place of being in a place of being home and not having to actually, you know, do the, all the things that we normally do, it is a difficult transition to get into that slow motion, if you, especially if you're a go, go, go person. Um, but this is telling you, use this time to recover. Use this time to restore your energy and allow yourself to, to move past um, the energy of being low and drained and, and let yourself use this time to restore your energy of the high vibration that you normally run with. We all need a reset here and that's what this is talking about. So here we go. This is the clarifiers. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome this beautiful blessing. Thank you so much for this blessed reading. So we had three jump. The moon card. These are the clarifiers, so it's going to bring in. Nice. We have temperance. This is the Archangel Uriel. The four of swords. Recovery. The two of rods twice. So three of these four are repeaters, so they're showing the confirmation. Nice. The chariot. And this is your major arcana, Taurus, so that's very nice. You've shown up there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to all believers, that is showing to stay in faith. Nice. Sun card. Gosh, guys, that's great. You've got the hang in there with the seven of rods. Oh, nice. Ten of pentacles. Taurus, this is a great reading. And the six of swords moving forward in the right direction. And our underlier is the Knight of Rods, which is the time to take action is heading for us. So, action or the, the movement of, of change and being able to get ourselves back into the, the groove again. You know, it, the thing about tarot, or one of the things about tarot is, I can't tell you exactly a date. This is the energy of the 1st through 15th. This is what I'm projecting for April 1st through 15th. But it doesn't mean that it's not going to linger forward in some timing for different people. You are all on your own time. 
This is your own learning thing and your the universe is working with you. So know that just because it doesn't happen the 1st through 15th doesn't mean it's not going to happen further down the road. So this is a projection of time. I do not have it on a lock. So I just want to say that. So it can be at the end of April as well as it can be at the beginning. The, the energy to start that movement may start in the 1st through 15th. So Four of Pentacles, solid, stable financial energy. So if you aren't in that energy now, it's heading for you. It is in development. The moon card is right on top. So it's saying this is the manifestation of this as you can pour your energy into it and bring it through. This is where you have to be completely let go of all negative energy and let yourself manifest your future by, by believing for the best possible outcome. It's really an act of faith. All of this is about faith. We have the Page of Wands, which is getting the message from the messenger. Of it's time. Action is coming. It's time for action, or we're going to set a date. We have the Temperance card, which is the beautiful Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the Sagittarius Major Arcana. So they've got Pisces Major Arcana, Sagittarius Major Arcana, and she's the Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the Keeper of Divine Light. This little white spot on the top of my card here is not a faded spot. It is, and gosh, that's so bright. It is the energy of light coming through her crown chakra. Now, she's taking that and transmuting it. She's doing alchemy to lay out everything synchronistically. So as the keeper of divine light, she's the keeper of the divine thoughts, actions, and circumstances. This means everything will unfold naturally so this is why you have to know it's your time to recuperate and make ready you have the archangel michael here and or uh, being seen as you know some of you may actually be uh, people who work in the front lines of all of this right now the archangel michael energy the king of swords energy follows in the same so a lot of them are drawn to specific jobs and these jobs include but are not limited to lawyer, doctor, judge, architect, engineer, scientist, anyone who is in law enforcement, criminal justice, or is in armed services, or first responder. This King of Swords energy is the energy of someone who is always in that place of making sure everyone has a fair shot. They, they are just so dedicated to everybody playing by the same rules and all being equal. So that is the Archangel Michael energy as well and mover of obstacles. So here is the Four of Swords saying let yourself recover, okay? If some of you are, are, you know, if you are in those places where right now you're the front lines of everything, which would be the, the law enforcement and, and doctors and anybody who is in the nursing or the hospital energy, this is saying... Please take good care of yourself as well. I know you're exhausted. I just want to take a brief moment and say thank you. I send all love and light and healing and protection to you all as we speak. I am constantly praying for you and sending that kind of energy toward you. Every morning I get up and do a prayer. So, and I encourage everyone watching to do the same. We couldn't do this without you. Page of Cups. Beautiful energy of holding your heart now sometimes we're holding things to our heart because we're in the place of manifestation and this energy is that kind of energy the light in your heart is what's going to manifest the outcome that you want and the two of rods the second time it shows up instead of being down the road looking at it like he is here now you've taken a rod you've made a choice you've got the world in your hand and the sun which is important to note the sun is rising on the horizon here okay so, let's look at this. As that sun is rising, it's also showing up down here. We have the chariot. This is a victory card. This is an upgrade. This is bringing everything that you want and need into fruition and allowing your, your wonderful energy of abundance to come in and getting everything that you need in this beautiful energy. So the struggle here is saying the upgrade, the setting a, a head and shoulders above the rest, being noted, being being a superstar at what you do, 
and receiving the accolades for it here, okay? It says change in status. Now we have the Ace of Wands, which is the energy of a passionate beginning, new beginning. Now it means a job, uh, anything that has to do with a project or something that you're actually taking action on. The rods mean action. We ha and some of you made this maybe a relationship. It's all kinds of things can be happening here. This is the relationship, love life, and spiritual life side. Um, at first, when all three cards were out, it was talking about relationship, but now we can be talking, I mean, a uh, job, but now we could be talking about relationship. We have uh, the Cancer Major Arcana here. Some of you may be in a relationship with a Cancer. So this is saying to all believers, so whatever this is for you, whether it's a job or a relationship, it's saying keep your faith. Then you have the Hierophant, which is your Taurus, Major Arcana Energy. So it means you're at your highest energy here. And you're getting the news to be brought in, to be everything starting new. And then we've got the Sun card, which is the absolute blessing from the universe. This is the universe giving you the energy of renewal. This is a new beginning that is blessed because you've got the white horse here, which means your soul. It's a spiritual energy card. I'm trying to get the glare off the card. So we have this, the white horse, which is the soul, the baby, which is the new beginning, whatever it is, it's a relationship or if it's a new job for some of you. And the sun is the guarantee of success and the vitality and restoration and nurturing of the universe being present here. Now, we have the Two of Wands, which is where you're taking a look at your options, trying to decide. It's saying, hang in there. Don't, don't get too overzealous. Let yourself make a, a decent choice. Don't rush yourself. Hang in there, stand, stand your ground, wait for the right thing, don't settle. Everything will be revealed, and you have the opportunity to manifest the outcome you want. When this card shows up, it means it's still in flux. And there is the Ten of Pentacles, which is financial stability, beautiful blessing of abundance coming in, and it is a beautiful energy. Having everything you need being given to you. And it can mean a commitment. But we have the Four of Swords saying restore yourself because you are moving in the right direction. It's about to begin. You will be launching forward, leaving all of this negativity behind and moving forward into your destiny. Allowing yourself to follow your higher source and moving to the future. So Taurus, this is a very optimistic reading. Many blessings to you all. Many, may, may you all stay safe. I, I send prayers and blessings to everyone. Every time I do this, I sit down and do my prayers beforehand. That's what's taken me a little bit longer to get these readings out. I apologize for the wait. Um, it's harder to center when there's so much um, very strong, strong energy coming. You know, it's hard to break through the veil of that to get into. Um, sometimes I can do it right away and... Sometimes it takes me a few tries to get connected. So thank you for your patience. Love, light, and abundance to you all. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful first half of April. I'll speak to you in mid-April. Namaste.